Here you have the utricle, and right over here is the saccule. And you can see the locations over here from which nerves are exiting. These would be the locations where you find the sensory structures which are responsible for detecting linear acceleration and the position of the head in space. The outside of the, the membranous labyrinth, where it's colored pink in this model, you would find a fluid called perilymph. The perilymph is very similar to cerebrospinal fluid. It has a higher concentration of sodium than potassium. Inside the membranous labyrinth, you would find a different kind of fluid called endolymph. And the endolymph contains a higher concentration of potassium than sodium. And so for this reason, it is similar composition to what is found inside the cell. The endolymphatic fluid is going to be produced by cells in the cochlea, and it is going to be drained from the membranous labyrinth by way of a connection that you find here with the utricle and saccule. Right over here, these two ducts connect and become an endolymphatic duct. In this model, the endolymphatic duct has been broken off, so you only see the stump of the endolymphatic duct here. But the endolymphatic duct would end in a dilation called the endolymphatic sac, which you would find in the subdural space. And at this location, the excess endolymphatic fluid is returned to the general circulation. Here is another view. Again, we have the membranous labyrinth, the gray. Here's the ampulla. And you can see it's connected to the utricle and the saccule over here. And you can see how these two ducts are joining. They would form the endolymphatic duct, which again is broken off in this model. This represents the location of the oval window. The oval footplate of the stapes would be covering this opening. It would be secured by an annular ligament to this opening. And as the footplate vibrates, it is going to send a pressure wave in the fluid that is on the other side of this oval window. Here we have another view of the oval window in the wall of the vestibule. Right over here at the beginning of the cochlea, there is another break or opening in the wall of the bony labyrinth. This is called the round window because it's more circular. The round window is where pressure that's generated in the fluid within the bony labyrinth by vibrations on the oval window are going to be relieved. So the round window is necessary for the generation of pressure waves in the fluid at the oval window.